Okay, so today in our second cha-cha lesson, we did a pivot turn on the forward part of our chase step. We will, which I'll demonstrate, we emphasized the rolling through the feet and also remembered to focus when we were turning to two different points. When we're turning, we maybe imagined that we had two wonderful people that we were attracted to, one that direction and one that direction, and we were focusing in their eyes, one back and forth. So the other thing we did today was we um, did an open break. So as if we were dancing with a partner, let go our hand, opened up, came back to our partner, and it looks like this. So we took the cha-cha chase step, the forward backward cha-cha, with our cha-cha uh, one rock step, cha-cha cha rock step, cha-cha cha rock step, and on the forward cha-cha, instead of rock step, we're going to do a step turn. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. And remember, focusing, focus, 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 step and change focus. Cha-cha-cha, step, we're focusing, focusing, focus. So that's the focus, that's the spotting. The feet are cha-cha-cha, step, put the weight on the front, on the ball of the foot, pivot, and put the weight on the back foot, on the ball of the foot. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. Cha-cha-cha, step and turn. Or cha-cha-cha, two and three. Cha, 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 two and three. The important thing is to turn on the balls of your feet so that you can pivot and your knees and toes can go together so that you don't plant your foot and turn your knee by accident. That would be a knee injury. So if it's difficult, um, take it slow so you have plenty of time to get around. The other thing that you wanna focus on um, is to keep the weight in the front of your feet, on the balls of your feet, but also over the front of your feet. So as we were going forward and backward, we were making sure when we reached backward that our weight was still over that forward foot instead of leaning back. So our backward cha-cha is cha-cha-cha, upright or a little forward. So we're still on the balls of our feet we want to make sure we're not leaning back, kind of doing the trucking pose because that will tighten up our lower back and make that more likely to hurt. Also, it makes us more likely to fall backward. So weight is always over the balls of your feet. Cha-cha-cha. Even when you're going backward, cha-cha-cha. Forward, cha-cha-cha. So let's do one more time. If we did our cha cha one, rock, step, cha-cha-cha with the right foot. If we stepping forward with our left, if you think left, turn right. We want an open turn. We want to make sure our feet end up open when they're to the side instead of crossed over. That's different. We don't want a crossed turn, we want an open turn. So when you step forward with your left, think left, turn right, meaning step left, turn to the right and on the right. So left, turn, right. Then we switch it. Cha, 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 right, turn, left. Cha, 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 left, turn, right. Cha, 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 right, turn, left. Cha, 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 left, turn, right. That might be another helpful way to think about it. Now, if we go ahead and move to our open breaks, um, Using Austin here, my friend, as an example. Austin is missing an arm, unfortunately, but we'll give you the idea. If I'm doing my sideways basic step with Austin, 
we would um, rock together. We'd rock, step, and then we would cha-cha. So we would rock, step. If we went this way, cha-cha-cha, what would happen is at some point we would open our hands and we would cross over, rock, step. Or we would open our hands and send our hands held together through and come back, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha. So we go rock, step, cha-cha-cha, cross over together and step toward the same wall and we rock back, cha-cha-cha. So that's what it looks like with a partner, kind of, with yourself. It looks like this. So the cha-cha open break, just one person, cha-cha one, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, cross over, take this outer arm, bring it through, rock, and then replace it, step, and then face your partner for the cha-cha-cha, do it again, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, cross over, point, rock, come back, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, cross over, rock, replace, face your partner again, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, cross, rock, come back, face your cha-cha-cha, rock, step. You can do it in both directions, but we just did it in this direction today. You can cross over a break in both directions if you like, rock, step, and cha-cha-cha, cross, rock, and back, face your partner, cross, return, face your partner, cross, return, and you can use those arms to really emphasize, so if you're doing on your own, make them big, but if you have your partner, push out and then back, so those were the two major steps we did today, remembering to focus and spot and try to find those spots whenever you turn and keeping the weight in the front of your feet, which will help you if you lose your balance, stepping forward is much easier than stepping backward to recover. So we are very interested in that. Also, it's better for your core strength and your back to kind of be on the balls of your feet. Stay on your toes, stay ready to move in any direction. Don't feel, um, don't feel embarrassed if you need to kind of slow it down and just have fun and keep moving. That's the most important part. Thanks for coming. <laughs>